We want to compete at the highest level and we want to do it in a way that honors Jesus. Obviously it's super important to every team to win, but at the same time we want to be a positive reflection of Southwest Christian and of our relationship with Christ. The great thing about Southwest Christian High School is the foundation that they lay of glorifying Christ in everything that they do. Well, we practice really hard. We play to win. We also try to make the most of our opportunity to be Christ's ambassadors on the court. Uh, I want them to view lacrosse as a training ground for life. We seek to train very hard. We seek to push ourselves to our limit. Uh, a bad decision or a bad shot um, doesn't look good on the scorecard, but it doesn't make you a bad person. Um, and the ball doesn't always bounce your way. The first thing I want the players to do is just to do their best. We want them to feel God's pleasure no matter what they do. They were Christians first and soccer players second. Actively having fellowship on the golf course, uh, witnessing if we need to, and uh, those are just things that separate Southwest from a lot of other schools I've been at. And then also to realize that you can be a Christian and you can be a competitor. God doesn't ask us to be perfect. You know, he asks us to strive for excellence in all that we do. We think it's important to win, but it's not important to win at all costs. We want to maintain our integrity. We're going to make mistakes, whether it's on the court or off the court. It's how do we learn from those. I want to teach the girls to um, play with great intensity and integrity. Um, also how you can play such a physical sport and still uh, honor Christ through that by playing it well. I guess while we don't do it perfectly, I hope that we would do it increasingly. We have a little motto that we use on the trap team. It's called pray hard and shoot straight. Uh, one of the things that sets our program apart, not necessarily from Southwest programs, because I think our programs here have great coaches. Is that we're united in purpose. And we, I mean, we, we talk about the three pillars of our program. We play for God, we play for our teammates, and we play for our school. Win or lose, I think just uh, you know, losing with, uh, with grace. Have the kids um, exhibit Christ-like qualities in everything they're doing in terms of their preparation for the sport, uh, in terms of their on-field performance and off-field performance. And one of the ways we try to do that is to really walk the walk. Uh, Christ is bigger than baseball, and yet he gives us sports to have fun, and we learn a lot of different things. Our program is unique uh, because it's in its first year, and the majority of our girls had never played lacrosse. Lacrosse is growing pretty quickly in Minnesota. It's one of the fastest growing sports in America. Um, this year with the weather that we've had, we were inside for the first six weeks, and golf isn't meant to be played inside. <laughs> so we have girls that have never thrown a softball before to girls that play or have played their entire life. So it's amazing to see the teamwork of our seniors helping our underclassmen. Track and field is a unique sport, of course, because it's both an individual sport, but also a team sport. We focus on service and giving. We had activities where the girls um, gave of their time. And we'll meet you where you're at. And so we will we'll train you, we'll teach you, you just have to be a willing athlete. For us, we're blessed to have nine coaches that have over hundreds of years of experience from the NHL, Division I, junior and high school hockey. We really want to have our seniors have a legacy beyond their senior season. Whatever um, they have gone through in their life is something that God is using to prepare them for whatever's happening um, next in their life. Uh, the most unique thing is the kids to be honest there. You can tell it's a trickle down effect from the faculty here, the teachers here, the coaches, their parents. Uh, these kids are just, they're generous, uh, they're appreciative, they wanna learn, and it makes it really easy for me as a coach. Just focusing on relationships because that's incredibly important for uh, competition, but also just for life in general. That's something that I hope uh, they take with them. It's interesting, Trap in the state of Minnesota is the safest sport. Uh, it has the fewest number of inju injuries, and I think that is a testament to the people who go out for trap and participate in the sport. I would like my seniors to take that responsibility, that personal responsibility with them to college and into life when they leave Southwest. I would love for them to take with them the freedom to be themselves. Softball is a game of errors and a game of imperfection, just to go out there and do their best and that it's okay to fail. Our seniors would really want them to be like mature, um, athletes and mature followers. The basketball program and their experience with it is, it's another family for them. You know, being a shining light for Christ, but also being prepared, well prepared to be successful in whatever endeavors they pursue. That they would just see God working in their life 
Yeah, I'd, I'd love for these girls to leave the program knowing that they're important, they're valuable. And so seeing, seeing my players develop on and off the course has, has made a big impact on me, and I hope I'm leaving the same impact for my players. I want to say thank you for the opportunity to coach these really terrific kids, and I'm excited about the culture that's being created here at Southwest. The common vision of this school to glorify God and hopefully when kids leave this school um, that seeds have been planted in their heart and for some of them that their faith has been fueled. At the end of the day, your basketball boys, end up, they end up being like your sons. Just like the body of Christ, there's always a spot for everybody um, to be successful. Something I want our community to know is it is special and it is unique to be able to be a part of a community like what we have here at Southwest. Go Stars!